tiny and lightweight base amps have been on the rise for the last 15 years. But it doesn't change the fact that the massive backline with huge amps and 8x10 or 215 cabinets just looks and sounds impressive. So here's something for those in appreciation for big things on stage. The heavy looking but actually not so heavy being Classic 500 by EBS. Let's check it out! Hi, this is Gregor from Bastable.com. Earlier this year I put together a massive amp wall for the studio here because we make videos and we want this to look cool, I guess. Uh, however, I bought uh, this cabinet here. This is a classic 8x10 by EBS. This is just a fantastic sounding cabinet. It's fat but not too fat and just the way I like my 8x10s. Later the guys from EBS sent me their new right bar 502 amp, this one here. They sound great together but every time I looked at the stack I just had a feeling that something's not right here. I just think such a big cabinet made Maybe also deserves a big amp. So let me put the Classic 500 on here with the power of a video editing. Are you ready? Well that's not right. Let me try again. Oh come on. <laughs> still the wrong amp. Uh, I, I, I tried to fix it. Just listen to this. I mean just wow what a sound it's so beautiful it's so powerful so rich so dense and yeah that's kind of what happens if you ditch your class d for a day and revisit the old school solid state game it's not a big secret that i'm not the biggest fan of class d power amps i completely understand why they dominate the market and i certainly also acknowledge that uh, this technology has become so good that many of them are just really really good by now. But if you're like me and nothing counts more than actually sound quality, there's still more than enough reasons to go with something like this an old school solid state non-class D amp. Let me just mention two and start with one. Uh, what you send in here is what you get out. The dynamic range and the dynamic response in its entirety is still unchallenged. And number two is when you turn up the master volume of class D amps at a certain point they just kick in a compressor or a limiter to protect the internal power amp. That's why many class D amps at a certain point don't really get louder anymore. The sound gets only more dance. For the classic 500 there's no such thing, it's just solid and true to your dynamic play. So let's check the amp out. The Classic 500 weighs 14 kilos or 31 pounds, which isn't much compared to most amps in this format. You can easily carry it with one hand, even if you're not incredibly, almost unbelievable strong like myself. The controls on the front panel are very easy to use. We have a gain, a 4 band EQ, a drive and a master volume. The low and high mids are semi-parametric, that means you can customize their frequency ranges to make them work for your bass sound. The drive is not a distortion, it's more like a dirt option that allows you to add more saturation. Next to the input for your bass sits a character switch that gives you a modern mid sound. I'm not entirely sure why this amp got a power and a standby switch. Usually that's only used for tube amps as a reminder that tubes need to warm up for a bit before you can use the amp. I guess they added the standby here for aesthetic reasons. The Classic 500 definitely looks like a tube amp even though the built-in technology is 100% solid state. On the back everything is kept simple and straightforward. There's not even an effects way, but who needs those anyways? I never understood why they're so often installed in bass amps at all. You get your power in, two speaker outs, a cooling fan, a fantastic sound the art and a line out that you can use to daisy chain multiple amps. The power amp delivers 500 watts at 2 ohms, that means you can use it with two 8x10s or four 4x10s or anything like that. At 4 ohms, like I'm using the amp with my EBS Classic 8x10, the amp runs at 440 watts. 
With a single 8 ohm cabinet, it's of course even less, probably in the 300s. But I can promise you this amp will be loud enough for most applications. Don't confuse this with the power output of Class D amps. This here is a different kind of experience. <laughs> I really love the simplicity of this amp, there's just nothing too complicated on it, everything is dialed in super quickly, but the main thing that fascinates me about this amp, it's just, it just sounds incredibly good, it, this richness, this power, I mean, this, this, just, this, this amp just kicks ass. Don't get too comfortable with your Class D amps, they are super convenient, I get it, but just don't forget what your bass can sound and feel like. And in appreciation for your interest, EBS is even throwing a dust cover in on top of the deal. Yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about this amp, about any other amp that I might know about, uh, just leave them in the comment section below. I will gladly get back to you. Like this video if you like this video. If you want to see more, uh, we are releasing reviews like this every week. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. This would be very appreciated. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>